just for anybody wondering that's how cold it is right now minus 41 <laughs> It's real cold. I even got a nice winter front on the motor today. Put a piece of, put a piece of plastic on there. Hopefully, it keeps the cold off the motor. That's where the fan runs. One last thing I gotta do today. I'm just at the other farm here. We're gonna grab some feed, but we got a pretty gnarly snowstorm the other day here, so I can't exactly get down our feed driveway here all the way to the bags way back there. So I gotta take the tractor first and clear that out of my way. Okay?
everything is just so drifted in like holy might take me a while to get some feet here but i'll get her done i finally got everything dug out here so i can get to some feed hopefully bring the truck back here now without getting stuck i don't think this camera does any justice about how much snow there actually is here this just took me about half an hour and I just made a path pretty much to the feed here, but go grab the truck, I guess. video make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you're not yet give this video a thumbs up just jump in the office here I'm gonna show you guys something quick right now outside it is minus 29 and it says it feels like minus 39 that is how cold it is right now outside and this is the forecast for the next week so we got the 31st the minus 27 which by the way that's my birthday and then it kind of warms up on the fourth and the fifth here next week the minus 14 and that again but yeah, so we got a cold, cold week ahead of us, but sometimes it is what it is. I'm trying to get the silage truck started right now because I got to haul two loads of silage out of the yard to some customers, but I can't get the truck started. But so we're just gonna keep uh, we're just gonna keep pushing snow around the yard, clean up the yard a bit because it did snow the past two days, and then hopefully the truck will start here right away. Kid steer here needs a little, a little bit of go-go juice, so hopefully this thing works. So that there, that's my fuel tank I have on the yard. We don't exactly have a proper fuel tank storage on this yard yet, but the slip tank here works good enough for us because the only thing that needs fuel in this yard is actually the skid steer and then once this thing runs dry we'll just bring it back to the other farm and refill it and then bring it back here but right now i'm in this shed that you guys keep seeing in some of my videos i see a bunch of comments hey are you ever going to use that empty shed i see in the background and the answer to that is yes we will use this shed hopefully by next winter right now it's kind of just a storage building for us we do want to turn this into a probably like a dry cow barn or something but we do not like the layout it is right now with the drive through through the kind of the middle of the barn but we want to put on the one side have a feed out like uh where they stand to eat and then the rest straw pack or something right now we just think there's a lot of wasted space because there's probably about 85 percent of this building has concrete floor and the straw pack area is very small if you can see this so that's the straw pack area it's not very big i don't know how wide that is maybe 15 feet and then this is concrete then you got the feed aisle the drive through same thing on the other side and then a straw pack again so yeah the plans for this summer is probably get this building up into snuff get it working for the way we want it and then have dry cows here hopefully by next winter
Everything is just so cold and stiff, this hose doesn't even move. Crazy. Oh, nice and warm in here. Sorry guys, I'm not gonna videotape too much outside probably today because my ears are already kind of freezing off, but I gotta go get a silence truck here started, or at least hope it starts. Had it plugged in for two days straight. And then now all of a sudden the battery's dead for some reason. Wonder why, but I hope this thing starts up here. So this thing's still charging, it's plugged in. Let's see if we can get this thing to see if we can get this thing to wake up. Thing's definitely not gonna start, but I guess we'll have to try later again. He says we got th almost 13 volts here, but oh well. Guess we'll just keep pushing snow and try again later. So we already got the whole front of the barn here cleared up. So now kind of just work on the side of the barn here, all the way up to the building there where the fuel tank is. So we're gonna clear all this going that way into a big hole that's back there. Just got the booster cables here. I'm starting to think the truck will start, but I'm honestly thinking it's, it's this stupid battery charger because it's one of those on, those auto on off chargers. I'm starting to think it's just a damn charger, not actually the truck, because this truck was literally plugged in for like two and a half days straight now. So it's got to be the charger, I'm thinking. So we're going to try boosting up the tractor. And that should hopefully work because the truck turns over. It's just the battery doesn't have enough juice in it. Well, we got her started now, but she wasn't happy at all. Definitely took a little bit, but at least it's going now. This thing should really get into a heated shop. It shouldn't be sitting outside like this at minus 40. 